Ophelia's go home video, I'm going to have her do her sits and downs. So, going to get her attention. Ophelia! Good girl. So, for a sit, I will give her this command. So, I say the word sit as well as I give the hand signal. And it's almost as if I'm lifting her nose to the sky. That's what the hand signal kind of looks like. So, just keeping that in mind. She's watching one of the gardeners go by. Ophelia. And then down, I'm just going to reference to the ground. Good girl. Good girl. So it's sit and down or even a point to the ground. Ophelia, yeah, down. So we're going to do that again. Ophelia, yeah, sit. Good girl. Ophelia. Okay, yeah. Ready? Down. So when she kind of protests, just holding that hand signal firm and waiting her out. Good girl. The worst thing you can do is sit there and say, sit, 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 down, 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 for any command. If you repeat it over and over again, she's going to lose the respect or meaning of that word, and chances are she'll start to just not listen. So you want to make sure you use the tone or the command one time, and if she doesn't follow through, wait a few seconds. If you have to, move around and start over with the command, but the worst thing you can do is sit, sit, sit. So, Ophelia, sit. For this part of Ophelia's go home video, you can see us working on her place command. She has a lot of distractions, so right there she went to break away. I said, uh-uh, and I kind of made a barrier so she couldn't step off. And the reason I did that was we do have another dog walking around the room, so lots of distractions. There are several people having conversations in this room as well. This is the whole purpose of the place command. We want her to be content on that, quote, bed. It's actually a scale but we're utilizing it as if it were a bed or some type of spot I want her to hold place on. So she's expected to stay there no matter what's going on around her. I'm currently stepping out of the um, shop right there and I came back in and praised her. In a moment, you will get to see that firsthand as I take the phone out with me and the, how well she's doing with this. But just keep in mind, the whole point of the place is to have her go somewhere and be content. So she's on the scale. She's being super, super good about this. She really wants to go play with the other puppies, but she's following through and doing great. The biggest thing to keep in mind is if Ophelia breaks away prematurely, you do get her right back on whatever it may be, whether it's a rug, a floor bed, an elevated bed, or the scale like we are doing here. You just want to demonstrate follow through. Anytime she breaks away, you say, uh-uh, pick her up or kind of guide her back to the whatever it may be, whatever you're using for your place. So right here I say, uh-uh, and I got her right back on there. And then as I got some distance, I'm using those positive marker words like, yes, good girl. And now I'm rewarding that she's settled back in. So this is all about follow through, showing her that when she's on there, she's doing exactly what I want. And she can't come off until she hears that universal release word of okay, which you'll see here in just a moment. Ophelia is doing a very good job with all of her commands. I'm very happy with where she is with her training and she is no doubt ready to go home next week. So during her go home session, I will have you do all of these commands with her before I leave. This way, if there's any questions or any scenarios where you want to see how to work through things positively as well as correctly and learn how to follow through yourself, you can do so during our go home session. You can also refer back to this go home video as it's not meant to have her demonstrating everything perfectly. It's good when she messes up so you can always refer back to this when continuing her training in your own home. I'm walking up, I'm rewarding her with some treats and praise. Sometimes I don't give treats. Sometimes it's just praise. Ophelia is the type of puppy that stays focused even after given a treat. So she is allowed those treats throughout the command. 
So I'm walking up. Every time I do this, I'm telling her, yes, good girl. And I'm giving her that reward. I'm also having conversations while she's doing this. So she realizes that even if I'm not looking at her and I'm distracted, she still has a job to do and she's doing a great job at it. So Ophelia can hold any type of position while holding place. Here she is technically off the scale and that's obviously what we're using as a bed in this scenario. She's fine because her feet are just hanging over it. She's a big girl so not a lot of space on there for her to comfortably lay down. This I would deem okay. If she were crawling off the bed or if she were trying to break away prematurely then of course I would get her right back on there, four on there but she's doing great. She's just a really big curl and did not fit on this comfortably. So the first and most important thing is that she's comfortable. Here I'm stepping outside. Granted, she could see me, so I stepped out of the way. And then I went back inside, and she's still holding it like a champ. So I want to praise that good behavior, telling her, yes, good girl, lots of love. And then telling her place and creating more distance because I want her to understand that even when I come up and praise her, she still has to hold it until given the universal release word of okay. She's doing so good with this. I give her that okay and an excited tone of voice. And I give her a food reward or praise when she comes to me. I want her to know she did a great job. So here we are. I'm going to guide her back on over there. Put her back into place. Wait for all four to step up on there. Good girl. Lots of positive marker words, praise, and just excited tones of voice so that she knows that I'm happy with what she's doing and she'll feed off of my happiness. Unlike sit, stay or down, stay, place is not as structured. She can sit, lay down. She could do backflips on that placemat. As long as she doesn't come off until given the release word, then she's doing perfectly fine. When it comes to sit, stay and down, stay, she's expected to hold a specific position. This command is great for when you have company over and you want her just to be content somewhere that's maybe not the crate. But she's doing great with her place command. So here we have Ophelia, and for this part of Ophelia's go home video, I'm going to have her do her stays. So I'm going to get her a little closer. Ophelia, come. Sit. Stay. do it again. We have some distractions going on. Another dog's barking and making noise. Ophelia, come on. We'll give her three treats on the ground. Ophelia, come. Good girl. Trying to just get her attention before I give her that come command or even trying to say her name too many times. Sit. Stay. Okay, yes, good girl. 
I want to have an excited tone when I give her that release, so she's just as excited that um, to get to me as my tone is. So we want her to match that excitement. I want her to know she's just doing a great job. So the more excited I am, the happier she'll be. Good girl. So we'll do another sit stay. Feel ya. Good girl. Sit. Definitely looking for some free treats. Good girl. All the way. Sit. Stay. So when she breaks away, it's very similar to the place command of taking them back to the same spot, but instead of putting her onto a bed, I put her back in the same position and we start over with those stays. Okay, yes, good girl, good job. So the difference between the place command and stays um, are the fact that place, she can go onto this bed or whatever you wanna use, a mat, anything, and you want her to just go be content there. With the stay commands, she is given a structured command, which is sit or down, and she has to hold that position. So, until given the release word, and that's why she goes back to the same spot and is put back in the same position. For this part of her go home video, we're gonna have Ophelia demonstrate her down stays. So, going to get her attention. Down. Stay. Flat open hands, same thing. Okay. prematurely break away so I say uh-uh even if she hasn't necessarily broken we want to try and beat her to that punch we don't want her to do it if we can deter it if she were to break away even after I gave her the like heads up of uh-uh I would again say that tone and be like uh-uh take her back to the same spot and put her back in that same position okay Ophelia okay good girl good job good girl and that universal release word of okay. Sit. Down. Someone's, oh, we got cars pulling in left and right. Down. Stay. Uh -uh. Okay, yes, that's such a good girl. Good girl. explain what it is we're doing here. So I take a treat. Show it. We're going to get that real quick. Good girl. Here, let me help you. Hey, look at good spot. Oh, is he a good spot? Is he a good spot? Okay. So I'm going to take a treat. I'm going to toss it into the back of the kennel. I'll tell Ophelia kennel. Wait till she goes on in there. Good girl. And close her on in. Waiting until she finishes that treat and her focus is on me and not chewing. 
And then I'll give her that weight spin. Weight. Uh-uh, so when she goes to push out prematurely, I want to say, uh-uh, and close her back in there and start over with that weight band. Wait. Uh-uh. Wait. Okay, good girl. Good girl. Do it again. Pause that tree line, tell her kennel. Good girl. Wait. Okay, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. The biggest thing is when we're giving her that weight command, I want to wait until she's demonstrating good manners and calm behaviors. She doesn't have to sit or do any types of uh, commands like sit or down. But I just want her to demonstrate calm behavior like she is right now. So I'll tell her wait. Uh-uh. Wait. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. Good girl.